This is the beginning of part two of the video on how to set up a web banner advertising program in .NET Nook. So we have uh, we have uh, added our URL, the, the destination URL. Next thing that we have to do is to set up the cost per thousand clicks. Sorry, cost per thousand impressions. So let's say that uh, the cost per thousand impressions will be five dollars. And the next one, we can basically limit the number of impressions that that banner will have. You can limit the number of impressions. You can put um, uh, 10,000 up to you. If you leave it zero, what will happen is that there will be no limits, no limit of impressions here. Now, the next one is when the banner will start to show. That's the start date. Let's put it yesterday. Just make sure that it will start properly. And then there's an end date. Let's put it uh, in a week's time frame. And the last field is a criteria. Basically, it can be or or and. And what does it? What this means is, uh, if it's or, it the, the banner will stop showing if the the maximum number of impressions is reached or the end date is reached. But if you choose the end option, what will happen is that. It will only stop showing the banner if the impressions are reached and the end date is reached as well. Okay, so that's the difference from and and or. Uh, basically, or will stop whichever comes first. If it ends, if it comes to the end date first, or the number of impressions are reached first, and both of them uh, have to come to to a conclusion. So. Again, the end option will tend to increase uh, the the time frame that uh, the banner will be displayed, where where the or option will tend to reduce the time frame that the banner will be displayed. Um, okay, so all the options are set up. Let's click update. So it comes back to the uh, vendor page. If we go to banner advertising, you can click on the plus and it expands it. It's showing our new banner. Okay, so again zero views zero clicks because we just we have just created what we're gonna I'll be doing now is creating the same uh, banner well the same type of banner for each one of the companies so I'm, I we have set up the banner for the uh, for the top of the page for company a what we what I will do now is set up the same type of banner uh, specific for company uh, B C and D Okay, I'm just starting to create uh, the top banner for company B and I just wanted to show this quickly. When you go to the banner group, just to, to uh, make it easy for the user, for you that is setting this up, uh, when you start typing, you see a, a, a drop down menu that will, uh, a drop down list that will allow you to select one of the banner groups that were already created before. So I can just click on it and and, and then again, it's setting up uh, with the same group that I have set up before. Now I'll just keep going to create all four different uh, top banners. So I have just finished creating the the last uh, top banner for the company D. So uh, for each one of those four companies, we have uh, a top banner to, to display for them. And again, the top banner that uh, we are displaying is exactly this one here, the, the one that uh, Wikipedia uh, page is calling leader uh, board. It's 728 by uh, 90 pixels. So again, just going back here to admin vendors, you will see the four vendors. And as you can see, banners, each one has uh, one banner set up for for themselves. Now, let's go to the home page and let's try to set up this banner to show at the on top of uh, uh, on the top part of our page. So let's go have a look at this layout under the layout mode. And uh, in the content page, the in content pane, the content is there. So let's add the banner in the top pane. And now let's go back to edit mode. What we have to do now is add the banner module to the top pane. Of this of the home page, uh, so we can just scroll down. So let's go up, click banners, and uh, select the top pane, and click add module. So now the the 
banner module is added to the top and we have to set it up now. So one of the things that I, first thing that I would do is go to settings and make sure that uh, the, the title is not being displayed, the title says banners, it's not being displayed or you can just go under uh, page settings and uncheck allow print, display container and click update. So now, and this is just to avoid uh, to show the, the banner name on top of the banner and the print option as well. So let's go to the pull down to the action menu and go to the banner options. Now, under the banner options is where we're going to set up the banners to start appearing. Uh, now, banner source can be host or site. Remember that I mentioned that uh, you can set up vendors under host or under admin. So site means under admin if you set up under admin which was our case and host will be if you set up under the host uh, menu the host level so let's keep site set up site uh, selected under banner type the type that we have uh, set up was the banner and under banner group this is where we're gonna use that uh, uh, banner group option that we have uh, set up for each one of those four banners so the banner option is called the group top banner okay uh, you can also start typing it to show up the pull down top banner banner count this is basically asking uh, how many banners should be displayed at one time um, in our case it's just one at a time so we don't want to display two at a time because again it's it's quite a it's quite a long uh, banner so we just want to show one at a time now orientation is um, horizontal border width we don't need to care about this at least I don't need to care about this one for now because uh, the, the actual banner has borders but you can you can put some borders here I'm, I'm gonna show an example in a, in a second uh, now basically we don't need to set up anything else here uh, Again, those those uh, cell padding, row height, column uh, width. This is more used uh, if you are having uh, many different banners in the same uh, area displayed at the same time, which is not our case. Banner click through. This is uh, it, it. It works like an intermediate uh, URL that you want uh, people to be directed to before they go to the final URL set up under the banner. Not. Go I'm gonna ignore this for now. So let's click update. And see if our banner is showing the different banner options okay so this is one one banner if I refresh the page hopefully the next one will come up maybe this one will still be around see that's the next banner if I refresh again so basically each refresh each visit to this page will bring a different banner okay now I would like to highlight a, a couple of issues that uh, we run through with the banner module if we are using uh, banners that are not images that are not JPEGs that are not uh, PNGs that are not GIFs uh, if we are using flash banners we have some some issues here first one is that if it's too close to the menu at the top and you have a secondary uh, uh, level of menu what will happen is that uh, as you can see here I'm just moving the mouse over uh, admin and this menu is coming behind the flash so so there's no uh, easy way to fix that so something to keep in mind the other thing that you have to keep in mind is for flash banners the click through uh, URL is not doesn't come from the banner settings it comes from within the banner itself so the click that needs to be set up uh, inside the the flash banner needs you basically need to give that uh, that uh, URL to the uh, company building the flash so they can point to that to that URL because the click through doesn't obey the URL that was set up uh, under the banner settings. Now, if let me try to refresh the page to show you uh, uh, an image banner. This is the end of part two of the video on how to set up a web banner advertising program in .NET Nook.